We begin with breaking news. For the first time, we're hearing from some of the acrobats injured in last month's horrifying circus accident. Four of the women who fell while performing the Human Chandelier Act address the public today. They're all undergoing a difficult recovery right now. And new at six, one performer reveals that she can't ever go back to the circus. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us now live outside Spalding Rehabilitation Center in Boston. These women tell us they knew there was risk involved, but they say they were doing what they love. Now their focus is on recovery. Collectively, the women have undergone more than two dozen surgeries. They tell us they've also suffered psychologically. And for at least one of them, this was a career ending fall. I can say for me only, and I can talk only for me, I will be not able to go back and to make what I know to do best, what I love to do and it's my dreams i gonna be limited only to hold my neck only my head i cannot talk for another girls but for me my dream is just that for everybody who is in the circus business they know it's a magic once you are inside it, it's difficult to get out it's just i cannot explain it's just it's like your home. That's my home for 13 years. I feel like it's been all my life. Seven of the eight injured performers are being represented by Clifford Law Office. Attorneys say it's too early to determine who might be named in any lawsuits. And coming up new at 630 over on our sister station, Fox Providence, hear how one of their performers describes the moments right after the fall. Live with the Mobile Newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.